new Assassin's Creed game lurking in the shadows, it seems like a good time to delve into the genetic memories and revisit the assassin ancestors of Desmond, as well as some of the more curious auxiliary assassins as well from the extended universe. Spoilers ahoy as we start drawing lines and connections into conjecture for what this can mean in the War of the Templars and Assassins. Though the seeds of his elusive order were sown long before his time, there was no man quite as instrumental in watering its prosperous roots with blood as Altair. An impetuous killer trained in the deadly arts since birth, he bore the hallowed rank of Master Assassin until a failed campaign against the Templars stripped him of his pride and title. To restore his honor, the Assassin was tasked with eliminating nine corrupt individuals in the Holy Land, and in doing so, discovered that the true source of corruption was none other than the leader of his order himself, al Mulib. After a dramatic confrontation resulting in the execution of his former master, a humbled Altair assumed the rank of mentor, determined to change the course of mankind for the better. And though his tale ends in the musty corridors of his native Masyaf, his legacy endures in the sprawling branches of his order, bearing fruit in both the old world and the new. Next in Desmond's ancestral bloodline is Ezio Auditore, who after witnessing the execution of his father and brothers, discovered his family's assassin heritage. With his sights on vengeance, Ezio began his crusade against the Templars, forming his own brotherhood of assassins in the process. Afterwards, Ezio set off on a pilgrimage, following in the footsteps of the legendary assassin Altair. After retiring from the order, Ezio lived his final years in a Tuscan villa with his family, where he later died of a heart attack not before giving his advice and aid to a mysterious woman of the Chinese assassin order, Xiao Jun. Haytham Kenway came as a surprise in the beginning of Assassin's Creed III, especially upon learning that he was aligned with the Templars. After learning of his assassin father, Haytham had been trained and inducted into the Templar order by family friend Reginald Birch. Birch sent Kenway to the colonies to search for sites for the mysterious first civilization, where Haytham went on to father Connor. While absent during his son's childhood, the two eventually met at odds, but sometimes forging guarded alliances. At Fort George, Haytham attacked Connor and ultimately perished by his son's own blade. A Native American assassin, he was tasked with taking down both his father and the notorious Templar Charles Lee. Ultimately, the struggle between the Templars and assassins during the American Revolutionary War took a heavy toll on Connor. The Templars murdered his mother and Connor was forced to take his own father's life. After the passing of his mentor, Achilles, Connor set out to bring freedom to others in the New World and the last ancestor whose memories Desmond would live. With Aveline, we follow a descendant of unknown origin, though she's seemingly not part of Desmond's DNA. Aveline grew up in New Orleans, where she was freed upon slavery from birth by her father. As a young girl, her mother vanished in broad daylight, and she was recruited into the Order as an agent of freedom and a thorn to the Templars in the region as well as in Chichen Itza. She also crossed paths with Connor in New York before confronting her stepmother, Madeline Delisle, the clandestine head of the New Orleans Templars. Her animus simulation was released by Abstergo, though the exact details are murky. Like Aveline, the following assassins don't share a direct bloodline with Desmond, or stand in the series as playable protagonists, though they do stand out as intriguing members of the Order, where nothing is true and everything is permitted. A nimble and deadly assassin hailing from China, Xiao Jun first appears for fans in Ezio's villa when he was 65, seeking out the knowledge of how to help her own brotherhood. Her devotion to the Brotherhood is the result of her rescue at the age of 16 by the Assassin Order during a mission to free the Emperor's concubines. We returned later to save more girls, but they were... Best known as Connor's mentor in Assassin's Creed III, Achilles was a master assassin during the French and Indian War. Recruited to the Order in the mid-1730s and eventually rising to become a mentor in 1746, Achilles led the fight against Templars until a trap nearly wiped out the Order in 1763. The Templars allowed Achilles to live at his homestead in the frontier, assuming he would be no further trouble. Daniel Cross, also known as Subject 4, makes his first video game appearance facing off against Desmond in Assassin's Creed 3. 
Though a Templar agent in the present day, his descendant, Nikolai Orlov, was a late 19th century Russian assassin who sought the Staff of Eden to keep it from Templar hands. Their journeys bleed together with various consequences and can be read about further in the comic book series, The Fall. Better known as Subject 16, this tragic hero brings us the truth in the midst of the Abstergo lies. Before completely succumbing to the madness of being in the Animus too long, he uploaded his personality and information into the system for the next person to learn from. What? Oh, I thought you knew. Lucy. Born into the Order, Desmond Miles grew up feeling trapped and disbelieving of the evils he was taught to fear. Running away from the farm, an assassin's refuge at 16, he managed to stay outside the war between Templars and Assassins until he was captured in September 2012 by Abstergo and thrown into the Animus to see what could be gleaned from his DNA. From that point on, his life was filled with memories, hidden messages, escapes, betrayals, friendships, and revelations. Those who came before the first civilization spoke directly to Desmond through his descendants. Their goal and hope was to prevent the destruction of the world. Desmond's journey ended with his decision to sacrifice himself in order to prevent just that. But now we wait to learn at what ultimate cost. The Creed has been a rich pageantry of historical fiction and contemporary frame stories, fused together with science fiction and otherworldly illusions. With Desmond gone, where will the next game take us, both in the past and in the present? Will the new descendant take up the mantle, don the hood, and fulfill the creed? Check back at GameTrailers.com Monday, March 4th at 9 a.m. Pacific for the reveal of Assassin's Creed 4.